Hey guys, so today I am in a very springy mood. It's really starting to feel like spring where I live and I wanted to dig through my collection and pick out the palettes that I am especially excited to reach for this spring. I did one of these in the fall as well and if you are in the southern hemisphere and you are entering into the fall season, I will leave that video linked down below for you. For me, when spring rolls around, that's when I start getting really excited to incorporate more color into my looks. I love playing with pastels like I did today. So I went through my collection and picked out seven palettes that I am especially excited to reach for this spring. All these palettes are on the older side. They've all been out for probably at least a year at this point. So some of these you may already have in your collection. But yeah, I was just really excited to shop my stash and pick out some palettes that I definitely want to make a point to reach for this spring. So let's go ahead and get started with an oldie but a goodie. I have been raving about this one on my channel for years at this point. I think this came out in 2019 and I got it pretty much as soon as it launched and I have loved it ever since. It's the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. Um, this in my opinion is one of the best palettes e.l.f. has ever put out. I tried at least a couple of their other 18 pan palettes. I tried New Classics and Opposites Attract. In my opinion, this formula is way better than those. I don't know, I think they did something different here with this formula than their previous ones. To me, this is also even better than like their bite-sized quads. But when I think spring, especially early spring and March, I definitely think green, probably because it's like St. Patrick's Day, I don't know. Things are blooming, the trees are turning green again, the sun is shining. To me, this is a very March palette with all the greens, the earthy tones, the blues as well. I love these pastel blues, so I'm really excited to reach for this this spring, and especially this month specifically. So if you own this palette, make sure to pull it out and play with it this spring. Um, it is an older palette, but every time I pull it back out, I fall in love with it all over again. I just love these shades. There's so many unique shades in here. You can also go a more neutral, earthy route if you want to. So there's just a lot you can do with this palette. I still think it's one of the best palettes at the drugstore. So the other thing that I think of when I think of spring makeup is pastels, of course. I love wearing pastel eyeshadow. I just think it's so much fun. And one palette that I'm really excited to reach for this spring is the Clarity Cosmetics So Amazing palette. This came out last year. Um, I do have a three looks one palette with this on my channel. And I don't love the matte formula in here, but the shimmers in here are just incredible. You'll see in the swatches, I mean, they are all like duochrome, super shifty, super sparkly, metallic, just yummy, delicious shimmers. Um, I cannot wait to put these on my eyes this spring. The mattes in here are totally workable as well. I do think it's important to wear them over like some kind of white base, like the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk or something similar, just to kind of help them cling and really pop on the skin because some of these, especially the yellow and the peach, are very, very light. And even, like, especially on my skin tone, because they're really not that far off from my skin tone in terms of depth, they can kind of just like blend right into my skin. So I definitely think a white base is a must, at least for those lighter ones. But yeah, I'm so excited to use this this spring. I feel like it has gone kind of underused in my collection, uh, especially in like the fall and winter. I don't really reach for these kinds of colors, but I am so excited to kind of be emerging from my neutral, not rut, because I just... I go into a neutral phase usually in the fall and winter, and now I'm coming out of that and I'm excited to explore colorful looks again, and I think this is going to be the perfect palette to play with. So I'm very excited about that. Another pastel palette that I'm so excited to reach for, especially because this one I actually bought at the end of last summer. So we were just getting into like fall makeup when I bought this. So I've been kind of waiting for spring to roll around for specifically like for this palette and one of the other ones, but this is the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. This is such a cute little pastel and just colorful palette. I love how this one is colorful but muted. So it, there's no like super, super bright neon colors in here. They're all just a little bit subdued. Some of them are pastel and some of them are just kind of like more toned down colors. Um, but they're still bright and light and just fun. Um, I do, my one complaint with this palette is I feel like it doesn't really stand alone that well. I feel like it's more, for me at least, it's more of like a supplemental palette. I prefer to pair it with other things because I just feel like if I want to create like a standalone look with this, I definitely can, but there's just something about either the layout of this or the color selection as a whole that I feel like is not very cohesive. The colors are all kind of just scattered in there randomly, which I don't necessarily mind, but I do feel like there could have maybe been a more 
intuitive or cohesive layout for these colors. So sometimes when I look at this palette, I do feel a little overwhelmed, like I'm not quite sure where to go with a look if I'm exclusively using this one. But I do want to challenge myself to play around with this more this spring and see if maybe I could come up with some like looks just with this palette alone. But the quality of these shadows is incredible. I mean, they are pigmented, they're smooth, they pack a punch without being like too intimidating, you know? So I just think BH Cosmetics is a great brand to look into if you're kind of dipping your toe into color and you just want something that you know is gonna work well, but you also want something that's not gonna be too bright and in your face. I think they're a great brand to check out. I did see that they got bought by Makeup Revolution, so I'm really curious to see how that affects the brand, how that affects their quality. Um, yeah, I'm just curious to see how that plays out. I hope it'll be a good thing for them, but we'll see. But as far as I know, you can still purchase these palettes and I assume they're the same as they've always been. So the other BH Cosmetics palette that I'm excited to reach for this spring, this one I bought at the same time as Lost in Los Angeles, right kind of at the tail end of summer, <laughs> which was bad timing for these like really spring and summery colorful palettes. But that means I'm really excited to get into them now. This is the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette. This is from their Weekend Vibes collection and Oh, this just makes my heart so happy. I love pinks and corals and yellows and oranges and peaches. All of those tones are just what I love to wear in the spring when the weather starts to warm up. This is what I want to wear on my eyes. My only complaint with this palette is that it doesn't have more oranges in it. I feel like they should have put more peachy orangey tones in here, especially with it being called mimosa. Most of the time mimosas are orange in color. So I kind of wish they would have replaced some of these matte pinks with just a few more oranges, because there's really only one like true orange, then there's a really light kind of peachy orange here. There, this is sort of an orangey brown, but I, I would have loved to see more oranges. I feel like that would have made this a little bit more of a balanced, well-rounded palette, but I still love these colors anyway. I cannot wait to play with this palette more. I feel like there's still pretty good range in this palette. I mean, again, most of this palette is kind of like light to medium tones. The deepest it really goes is like pomegranate and happy hour, which when I'm doing like a bright colorful look, I don't always need like a really deep shade in the outer corner or anything. Sometimes that's, you know, as deep as I want to go. And I like how you even have like a cool tone lilac in here. I feel like that's a fun little pop. There are some neutrals in here, so you can get like a simple neutral look if you want to. There's a yellow, which I'm all about. So mm, this palette just makes me smile when I look at it. I am so excited to reach into this more this spring. All right, so while we were talking about peaches and pinks and pastels, of course I have to mention the ColourPop Miss Bliss palette. This is such a cute little palette. I still love this one. This obviously is a very light palette, like doesn't go very deep at all. This is for those days when I just want a really soft, cute, peachy pink look. Um, I like that you can kind of go in either direction. You can go all pink, you can go all peach. I love how these are kind of like muted oranges. Like these peaches are just like very, very toned down orange shadows. And I love those kinds of tones on my eyes. If you have blue eyes, I think peaches and pinks are some of the most flattering colors you can wear. Obviously anybody with any eye color can wear these colors, but I just, there's just something about peach eyeshadows that just like warms my soul. <laughs> I have had this palette for like two years now, so I really would like to hit pan on some of these shades soon. I think I'm pretty close to hitting pan on this Palo Santo shade. Got a really big dip going in there. The shimmers in here, there's only two like true shimmers in here, but they are both stunning. I mean, they've got kind of like a creamy feel to them. Look at those beauties. Yeah, I just love this palette. I don't have to think very much when I use it. I can just kind of throw any combination of these shades on and it's gonna look good. It's gonna look just pretty and fresh and springy and bright. And yeah, I, I just, I love this cute little palette so much. Okay, let's talk about an all shimmer palette that I'm very excited to reach for. This is like a spring and summer palette to me, but it definitely makes me think of spring. This is the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. And this is all shimmer. Really like this coral and green are what really make me think of spring. Oh my goodness, can you believe that those are drugstore? Those are some of the most foiled shadows in my collection. There's the gold and the light purple. Oh, so pretty. 
I did just buy the Desert Lights palette too because I love this formula so much. I kind of do hope that Flower continues to expand this line of palettes because I think they've got something very special going on here. I like to just apply them to my lid with a finger. I'm really excited. I love doing a one shadow look with this coral shade just all over the lid. Maybe blend out the crease with one of the Miss Bliss mattes and um, maybe pop a little, a, bit of, a little bit of that lightest shade in the inner corner. So, so pretty. I'll go ahead and show you Desert Lights as well. This is more of like a rosy neutral palette. Also just calls my name. One thing I also have to say I really appreciate is that the writing on this packaging has not worn off. I was afraid it might because a lot of times palettes with this kind of hard plastic packaging and this like metallic writing, like I'm thinking of the Profusion 10 Pan palettes, it'll start to like rub off in a matter of a few days of owning the palette. But I've had this for almost a year now, I think, and the writing has not budged. So I do appreciate that because it's not cheap. I mean, these are like $18 a piece. So, um, you know, wait for a sale if you don't want to spend that much, but I think they're totally worth the full price too. Like they're just so good. The final palette I'm excited to reach for this spring is more of like a mix of neutral and colorful. It's kind of like a muted, more toned down, maybe everyday appropriate spring palette, especially if you don't like to wear like bright colorful shadows to work and stuff like that. This is the Sigma Enchanted palette. And you know, I had some complaints about this palette when I got it. I actually was very late to the party on this. I bought this in 2021. And I think this probably came out in what, 2019, 2020. So it's not new at all, but I really like the color story of this. I like that it's got a mix of like pinks and greens and golds, and then quite a few neutrals as well. I do think you really need to use these shimmers over a glitter primer or a glitter glue if you want them to show up to their full potential because they can be a little bit underwhelming, at least some of them. Uh, without that, like especially Cosmos and Metamorphosis, those two shades leave a little bit or a lot to be desired, at least for me, because you know I like for my shimmers to really pack a punch. But with the glitter primer, these shimmers are stunning. They have that kind of scattered glimmer to them that I love so much. They're not just like a straight shimmer. They're like, when you look at them in like natural light or direct sunlight, you're gonna see like so many different like size shimmer particles, you know, just kind of glimmering all over your eyelid. It's really, really pretty. But yeah, this shade Plume, budding. I mean, even the names of these actually kind of are making me think of spring. Metamorphosis, Electrum, those three shimmers. Oh wow, so pretty. And that's just on my finger without a glitter primer, obviously. But yeah, even though not every single shade in this palette totally blows me away and I did have some trouble with it in the beginning, it has only grown on me since. I do have a seven looks one palette with this on my channel that I filmed last year if you wanna see that. And for all of these palettes, I will link below any videos that I've done using them. I do have a three looks with the Somer Amazing. Um, I did a one month one palette with Miss Bliss a long time ago. So anyway, I'll link any videos below using these palettes that I have. But those are all of the seven palettes that I'm really excited to pull out of my stash and use this spring. Um, definitely look forward to seeing these on my eyes throughout the next few months. Um, I'll definitely try to do some Instagram reels with these or incorporate them into YouTube videos as well. But I would love to know what are the palettes that you are particularly excited to reach for this spring? Are there any kind of older palettes that you're going to dust off and get some use out of this spring? I would love to know. Or if it's fall where you live right now, I would love to hear what are your favorite fall palettes. I mean, I can always appreciate a good fall palette no matter what time of year it is. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. I'd love to see you back soon. I upload three to four videos every single week. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to hang out over there. Otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.